Hey you, what's up? I'm Angelos and today I'd like to show you one very very aggressive weapon with black and this weapon called Marshall Attack is the, is the only system that we call it Attack as black because black is really really attacking. Now we can see a position from the game Kramnik against Leko. This is uh, from the World Championship match played in 2004. This uh, match uh, tied and uh, Kramnik managed to keep his title but this game was really really interesting and uh, Leko managed to trick Kramnik tr trick Kramnik his computer and his analytical team he found a better plan here can you do the same in order to fight for the world champion it's Black's turn so let's uh, see the game from the scratch c4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 the Spanish a6 Bishop a4, no Berlin today, knight f6, sword castling, bishop e7, rook e1, b5, all these move, moves are very well known in the theory, bishop b3, sword castling, and now if you like to avoid Marshall, then you can play the move a4 or d3. These are solid and uh, very logical options. However, here white played c3 and invite Leko to play the Marshall gambit. So d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, rook takes e5, our knight on d5 is under attack, so c6, d4 and bishop d6. You can see now, after this move, rook e1, how aggressive the black pieces are, everything are looking here against the king's side, so black will have the attack and this is why we call it martial attack. This is a system that Marshall prepared for 10 years, he keep it secret and he played it for first time against Capablanca. But Capablanca was really really good and uh, very strong person and uh, in the board he, he managed to refute this Marshall attack and win this first game. But he didn't harm the refu reputation because Marshall is a very reliable weapon, you can use it. So after that Queen h4 we are threatening a check, a deadly check on h2. So g3 in order to protect this Queen uh, h3s and as you can see we can transfer the bishop here on g4 on f3 we can deliver checkmate. Everything looks natural here for black and uh, rook e4. This move start uh, becoming annoying because uh, white would like to play here with a rook, rook h4 and annoy the queen. He stopped this move, bishop to g4 and in 1999 Petrosian against Averbach. Averbach come here with a brilliant move, g5. Let's see that game. What happened there? First of all, let's see this one, the very obvious. What will happen if white captured g5? It's your turn, what are you going to do now? And of course we will going to give this double attack, we are attacking the rook and the bishop, so we will win material. And uh, in this game Petrosian played another normal move, knight to d2, what to do? Bishop f5, we are attacking the rook, rook, queen e2, very, very often white sacrifice material in order to stop or refute black's attack. And black is not interesting to capture material, to collect material, he would like to attack, yes we would like to attack rook, rook e5 in order to sacrifice the rook in any case and after that we capture here bishop takes e5, d takes e5, knight g4 against, again we are creating this very nice threat queen takes h2 and queen h1 checkmate, right? It's nice to create checkmate threats, isn't it? Knight f3 and now rook a e8. We bring all of the, our pieces uh, in the game and uh, you, you can feel the pressure, right? White is a pawn up but uh, his pieces are undeveloped. So if you don't know what to do, this is uh, something uh, uh, strange. So, um, Petrosian here didn't play the best move. He felt this pressure and for that reason he tried to exchange queens and this was a, a very bad mistake. Queen takes f1, king takes f1 and h6 in order to protect the king side pawns. As you can see everything is rock solid. h4 in order to open some lines, bishop e4 he would like to remove the defender and after that he will capture the pawn back. Knight e1, rook takes e5 and now f4 and I am providing this game for this particular moment. What are you going to do here with black? It's black's turn. And he found a brilliant move, 
g takes h4 what is the idea if our opponent captures the rook then we can play h3 and no one can stop this powerful pawn we will have a new queen so let's go let's go back to our game and here uh, after after rook e4 we have g5 this is how this move developed and Kramnik here prepared of course uh, the queen f1 this move he would like to exchange queens and everything looks natural right so queen uh, f5 knight d2 bishop f5 f3 again white would like to sacrifice the rook in order to stop black's attack and black are not interesting about that he played knight f6 of course rook e1 rook a e8 a typical move in order to fight for the e line rook takes c8 rook takes c8 a4 and now we have this position did you manage to find the plan he played the move queen g6 what is the idea the idea is to prevail to control the light squares and after this exchange this is very normal because white would like to open the rook and find some counterplay right he played this move bishop d3 queen f2 everything looks normal right and after this move rook e2 kramny had prepared this move queen takes e2 and uh, bishop takes e2 and now it seems that after this a takes b6 white have amazing game why this pawn gives uh, a tremendous initiative to white he would like to push it forward and create new queen right and uh, if we capture this pawn with a bishop then the rook can recapture the bishop and we have a lot of material where is the attack we, we cannot attack and Leko trick here cramming because he was better prepared and he found this amazing move queen d3 wow now we are threatening a lot of nasty things against the enemy king king f2 what else to play and now he he played another very nice move he, he it is a tactic in order to help you a little more the rook on a1 is unprotected and we have all of our pieces ready here against the enemy king so we should have something the only defender is the knight right so we should do something can you find it it's for it's very difficult of course Bishop takes f3, knight takes f3 and after that we deliver a check on e4. Now the king uh, doesn't have a lot of options, for example if he goes here on g2 then we can give this check, king h3, queen takes f3 and you can see that uh, how to stop this checkmate, this brilliant checkmate on f2, right? The king don't have good squares. This is one variation, another variation is to go on g1 but after that we can capture the knight and uh, we can deliver this checkmate on f2 and then on f1. So the, the other move is to go here and uh, white, black here have something more, he is not interesting only to capture the knight but he captured here. On c3 he is threatening checkmate on e2, b takes c3 and the double attack king f2 and queen capture on a1 black have winning position here and after a7 we are not in hurry we solidly protect our pawns and after that we will collect this unprotected far advanced pawn on a7 he tried h4 but after g4 all dreams come over and leko managed to win a brilliant game so let's move forward and see some of my games if you would like to get attacking positions in every opening then I suggest you this amazing course 10 aggressive openings blitz friendly and here I'd like to show you the lessons inside the website if you are logged in then you are going to see this new menu profile if you click it you are going to see this page and then you can click here my lessons from this one you can see your available lessons and if you scroll down you can click here 10 aggressive openings with Asaf Givon, with this fantastic author, we create together the lessons and you can see here one lesson after the other, you can see typical mistakes after that, how to start the game correctly, the best 10 moves, then you can see what are the aggressive openings and then you are going to learn one lesson after the other, we have a lot of lessons there and you can create a very solid and strong repertoire with white and black and here you can see two of the free lessons that I already published them on YouTube and last but not least here you can you can download the PGN theory on your website you can download the practice the PGN files you can see all of the games online on my website or if you click here on practice PDF 
then you can see the exercises in the PDF format and you will be available to download this as well. You can set up these positions, you have a lot of interesting examples in each position from every every single opening. I suggest you this fantastic course in order to start correctly in every every single opening. The next year, 2005, I played the game against Papa Georgiou in my local city, Ioannina, and here White didn't play this move c3, he tried to avoid the marshal and he played a4. Okay, everything is natural, so bishop b7, we are preparing our pieces, he played c3 and this is a mistake. Why this is a mistake? Because we leave d3 pawn square unprotected, so d5. E takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, rook takes e5, and now knight f4. Black is threatening to go here with a knight or with a queen in order to stop white's development, and uh, if uh, black manages to do something about this square, white will have uh, huge difficulties here. For that reason, he played d4, and after that, uh, I capture on g2. A takes b5, A takes b5, Rook takes a8, Bishop takes a8, and Queen g4. We don't give material, the material is equal, and uh, the White's king side is totally destroyed, right? Because we capture something on g2, and uh, the, the king shield is not very well protected. Now it's Black's turn, I played this move, Knight to h4, and I create, I'm creating this set, Knight f3, in order to attack the king and the Rook. He played rook h5, what to do? He would like to create some counter-attacking chances here on my king. Can you spot the right move for black? It's black's turn and winning. Bishop f3, congratulations, you're securing the queen and the rook is unprotected. White cannot do anything and he loses the game instantly in 17 moves. But don't go away, I have another game for you. Here we have the same position, I played with another person here, Benazis, it is in 2006, and this player played against this move a4, bishop b7, c3, and the same mistake, d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, and now he didn't capture on e5, but he prefers to develop his pieces with d4. Unfortunately for white, black have a very good development, and uh, if you try to open the position right now, you are helping only the black pieces. E takes d4, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, queen takes d4, bishop d6, and again you can see how aggressively placed these pieces are. It, it is fantastic. All of black pieces are very good placed and uh, we are ready to start the attack against the enemy king side. Knight d2 in order to develop one piece c5 and queen g4. Now you should find a plan for black. Can you find a good plan for black? It's black's turn. Uh, I'm very very happy for my move, it's not the first computer move, but I played here h5. A very nice pawn sacrifice, and what is the idea? It's temporarily sacrificed, because after this queen takes h5, we have this, the same motif, the same pattern, you know, knight f4 and we are attacking the queen on h5 and g2. After queen g4 I capture here on g2 and after rook d1. I don't really afraid anything on the d line because the d line is closed for now. Queen h4 I exchange queens and uh, I'm threatening here to capture on h2 and black have amazing amazing development so I feel very nice here to exchange queens and uh, I can continue my attack slowly. So Queen takes h4, knight takes h4, c4, another mistake because white would like to open the position, not close it, and of course I close the position with b4, bishop c2, rook a d8 in order to solidly protect everything, rook e1, and we have now the very typical martial move, rook e1, we would like to fight in, to fight in the line, so rook takes e8, rook takes e8, and we are threatening this deadly check here on uh, e1. So he played f3 and after that rook e2. We are creating a new threat and you can compare the black and white pieces. You can see that all of black pieces are extremely active and uh, no one is active. Black, uh, white don't have any good piece. So bishop e4 he tried to exchange some pieces and of course when we are in attack we don't like to exchange pieces, so I keep the piece 
on the board, knight f1, knight h3 and the final mistake came here from uh, black, he played this move, bishop g5. Can you find the best move here for white? Of course, a double attack, rook g2, double attacks can win the game. So I hope you enjoy this lesson and start playing Marshall. All the best! So, why you should become a member? This is an amazing opportunity to you to support the channel and gain access to exclusive perks. Well, it's not just about supporting the channel, it's about becoming part of the exclusive community. You'll be helping me to continue creating the content you love and in return you get some fantastic benefits. We have three membership levels, tolerated fit everyone needs. The gold, the diamond and the platinum. Join us as a member is a great way to interact with me directly. You will get loyalty badges next to your name in comments, access to custom emojis and special discounts. I prioritize replies to members. Access exclusive videos available only for members to enhance your chess skills. The time to improve is now. On the Platinum membership plan you will get a chess course for free. So, what you are waiting for? Click the join button to become a member today. Let's take this journey together to the next level and unlock these amazing perks.